Hi, I'm Brendan Somerville. I'm part of the Community Foodies Program and work at the Food Centre at Jeps Cross. Um, acceptance and cooperation. Um, I don't use the word tolerance because that implies putting up with something. Accepting implies embracing and I think that's really important. And it's remarkable how close you can get to folk if you're sharing an activity or a, a love, you know, sort of if you were to go out bird watching you'd get a whole heap of folk. If you go out cooking you do something else here, but there are ways of tying people together. Well, I demonstrate the Easy Feast meals. They um, are cheap meals with all the ingredients provided and you can make something for around 10 bucks to feed four adults, a couple of teenagers. Um, and uh, they're quick, simple, I demonstrate them, let people taste them and give them the idea. I'm happy to discuss you know, things you can do to trick them up, make them different or suit your own needs. Yeah, so that's what I do there. I mean, even the folks who are down and out care, you know, and one of the things that I really like about the food centre is that sense of equality, the sense of respect for everybody. You know, those things are really, really important. Um, they make our community work. The food centre had bananas going cheap and dates, and a lady was looking at them and said, oh, do you know you can make a fantastic dessert out of that? And uh, no, 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 so I told her what to do. And back the next week, that was fantastic, wonderful, got a great idea, yeah. So those sort of little things, just sharing something like that, um, making something that might have been a bit scary easy, you know. Humility is not a bad one. Um, it's always good to remember that it's only a heartbeat that puts us away from anybody else, you know. Um, a, decision, an accident, anything, you know, that can put you in a dreadful situation. So, yeah, um, that to be less judgmental, and I say that, uh, we, our whole lives are made up of making judgments, you know, and um, often if you pull up to a bus, next to a bus stop, you put a story to everybody there. And it's useful sometimes to go back and say, now why did I put this story to this person and that one to that one and whatever. And yeah, so it makes you a little more understanding, a little more aware of the, there's so many stories out there. And I hate to say just stories because they're lies. But you know, there's so much out there that we just don't know and we can really appreciate and learn from. Because I think it's important to give back to some extent, you know, I mean, uh, in the garden, my aim is to make the soil good and if I make the soil good and healthy then no matter what I plant it'll grow and it'll grow okay you know and so if you make your community good if you share your riches it's got to be good you know I mean even if somebody learns to make one thing and they can surprise somebody or look what I did you know it's great you know it's um yeah knowledge is to be shared it's not proprietary in, in my mind it's welcoming, friendly and accepting. Um, everybody's equal there and everybody is treated well. You know, there's a large degree of respect and that's really nice to see. Yeah, happiest moment of life, catching the two children. That was just an absolute delight. It's sort of, yep, yeah, it's a terrible analogy, taking a, bun, uh, a loaf out of the oven or whatever, but it's, it's like slow food, you know, so if you, you spent nine months making this thing and all of a sudden you see it and you, ah, wow. Yeah, in fact, it was really funny when my, my son was two years older than my daughter and when he first met his new little sister, he tasted her. He went up and licked her and I was just, this kid's a foodie. <laughs> well, obviously food, but um, I guess human justice, you know, that everybody should have a fair go, you know, and, um, yeah, station at birth is no indicator of a person's quality. You know, there's some of the roughest nuts in the world I'm happy to keep, call my friends, you know. Oh yes, yes, I, I don't spend a great deal of time indoors at all. I'm usually sitting somewhere in the garden, uh, reading or um, planning something or watching chooks or, you know, just, yeah, I 
love to be surrounded by the greenery. Um, yeah, so the food centre, it's uh, not so much a cooperative, it was, I think, started by the Anglican Church sometime. Anyway, it's, it's a long history. They've been there for a while and they have a um, low priced um, supermarket, which is really, really good value. Um, they've, you, know, you can get all the basics there. Um, there's a little cafe, which is relatively cheap. You can get good coffee and uh, cheap meals, and then the op shop. There's plenty of people who'll say good day, uh, give you a hand, whatever. Um, yeah, friendly, accepting, and a lot of the things that you can uh, do. I've uh, trawled the op shop several times. It's a, you never know when that treasure's going to be there. And uh, yeah, so it's, 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 a, it's a nice place. It's sort of a, almost a community centre, but not really, if you know what I mean. But there's a lot of regulars and a lot of well-known faces, and it's, yeah, it's lovely. Don't, I mean, my aim in life would be to leave the place better than when I found it. You know, so if like if you go camping, leave nothing, and even take some rubbish with you. You know, it's that's my attitude. So if I can leave it a little better place, somebody's learnt something new or whatever, that's sweet.